We're going to walk you through a really simple way to source the most accurate rainfall data for your monitoring location. So the first thing you're gonna do is head to uh, wonderground.com slash wondermap. So this is a resource that is housed by uh, Weather Underground. So you're gonna see a bunch of different numbers pop up. These are all reflecting the temperatures right now and we're gonna navigate to your sampling uh, location. So we are using a site as an example today in Powhatan, Virginia. And my monitoring site is right here at this bridge crossing. So I'm just going to continue zooming into that area. And you'll notice that as you zoom in more and more uh, weather stations pop up. So you can zoom in pretty far to get a uh, accurate location. So the site that is closest to my monitoring location is this one right here. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to click through to the station ID. And that's going to open in a separate page. So because I know I'm going to be visiting this site multiple times every or each month, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bookmark it. So however you would choose to save a site that you visit often, I would go ahead and do that now. So once you're at that site, you can confirm that that is the location nearest your monitoring site with this little map. And we're going to continue scrolling down. And we'll get to this weather history section right here. And I'm going to switch this to monthly mode. And then click view. So we'll have the summary from October 1st through October 31st. From there, we can scroll down and we'll see all these different graphs. Um, but I'm going to switch this to table mode. And now on the right, left side, you'll have all of your dates for the whole month of October. And then uh, at the very bottom, we can move this bar over a little bit. And we'll have our precipitation accumulation over here all the way on the right. So from there, you can go ahead and record your rainfall data for the previous two days before sampling and then the previous seven days before sampling and write that on your data sheet. Again, this is displayed in inches, so we just want to make sure we convert that over to millimeters before we record that.